Since the dawn of time, balloons and monkeys have been at war, always scrambling to one-up each other. Whenever the monkeys would come up with a new weapon or device, the balloons would soon develop a new, stronger balloon. But it wasn't always this way. Long ago, the monkeys came in contact with beings from another dimension. These beings gave them technologies that far surpassed the technologies we have now. They gave the monkeys the Balloons Day device. But before the monkeys could use it, the balloons launched a surprise attack and destroyed the ancient monkey civilization. The Balloons Day device was lost forever. Deep in the catacombs of Adora's temple, one monkey stumbled upon a sealed door, and behind it, the forgotten Bloomsday device. Who's ready for the Bloomsday device? It's what? It's $2,000? What do you mean? This ancient device costs that much money? That's outrageous. Okay, I'm just gonna straight up save up until I'm able to buy it. Okay, I just need $2,000. That's not too crazy. I should be able to have it at the end of this round anyways. And if you're excited and you want to see more epic custom stories in the beginning, as well as more cool custom modded content, hit that like button, my friends. All right, let's do this. Balloons Day device. Holy cow, this thing is huge. All right, let's put it down. What? Look at this. Oh my gosh. So it just follows my cursor. It's just a giant beam of energy from the sky. No way. Oh my. It's kind of slow though. See, it's it doesn't really follow my mouse that well. But look at this. Look at how powerful it is. You can just destroy everything. What if I just put it right here? It does a lot of damage actually. I understand that this thing's actually kind of busted. Can I wait? Oh, wait, I can have it on patrol points. I can make it go back and forth. Here, we can just lock it in place, right? I can just have it right there. You can't even see the monkey behind it. Oh, George. I love how it looks, too. It's literally just an epic pyramid. And it's got, it's channeling the blue energy. I love how there's, like, some weird symbols around it as well. We can get hyper laser, which laser gains one pierce, which I don't think that's that important right now. I'm sure that'll be pretty nice. High speed tracking. Laser moves at two times the speed. Okay, I'm kind of in for that. That would be pretty good. And then photon accelerator. Laser attacks 10% faster. Ooh, I kind of like that. All right, let's just do that. And it's only $160. I'm in. So now it's gonna attack faster. Okay, Ghost Light Infiltration Core. So Balloons Day device is able to detect camo balloons. All right, nice. I love that it's literally just a giant beam of energy. It looks awesome. No wonder the balloons need tried to get rid of this thing. They tried to bury it in the temple. No chance. We're not getting rid of You can't get rid of it that easy. Maybe we increase the pierce? I think Plasma Tracer. Whoa, so the balloon stay device leaves plasma on the ground if it doesn't hit anything. I think I'd rather get the one pierce Let's get the laser gains plus one pierce. Oh, no purple balloons. Oh, no I didn't even think about that is okay. Is there anything that we can get? Oh, let's see high-tech laser Let's see bluntonium wider lens plasma knockback balloons plasma on the ground Oh no. Ta Wait, smart tracking? Balloons Day device gains a targeting option to track balloons automatically? Oh, I kind of want that now. I kind of I kind of really want that one now. But I also need to get something that can deal with purple balloons. Oh, look, something actually got by. Okay. So maybe we get let's get superior laser. Because we might need that. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the superior laser. We need to get something for purple balloons or else we're kind of in trouble. I'm in huge trouble if purple balloons start showing up here. Is this in the- yeah, this is in the range of the village. I need- oh, no, 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 I'm probably gonna lose here. Oh, that was really close. Oh my goodness. All right, sell. All right, I should- I'm close. I just need $8,000, okay? It's not- come on, I can do it. We're so close! Okay, cool, we got MIB. We can pop purple balloons now. Well, apparently, when this this ancient Balloons Day device was first developed, purple balloons weren't around. So purple balloons are pretty good. They're, they seem to be our worst enemy right now, which is definitely not that great. High-tech laser gains plus three Moab damage, which we kind of need. Oh, look, wait, wait. Oh, my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. Some of these balloons are kind of getting by. Whoa. Okay, I think we need to... 
I think we need another balloon stay device. That's what I want to get. And now let's get the smart tracking. Look at that. It follows balloons. That's epic. Okay, so well, let's see. Do we want do we want to get the high tech laser for this one? Or the plasma? So it leaves plasma on the ground if it doesn't hit anything? I don't think so. I think we'd rather get the high tech laser with that, right? I think so. I think we'd rather get it I'd rather it be stronger. And this one we could have the plasma on it. I think that would probably be better, right? Because this one's more than likely not gonna be hitting. So we'll have this one be the one that we just kind of like lock it in the middle. Wider lens. Ooh, wait, allowing it to project a bigger laser. I think I'd rather upgrade this one to be the high-tech laser because that way we can actually deal with the Moab. Can we pop the Moab? Oh, easily. It easily popped the Moab. I love this tower. If you enjoy the concept of this tower, hit that like button, my friends, because this is actually, this is a really cool modded unique tower. Huge shout out to Zukoi for actually the creation of it. $32,000 is a lot of money. So plasma tracer. So that just, as you can see, it's actually putting a pool of plasma on the ground now, which is gonna make it much stronger. So when the balloons actually try to get through, they're gonna have a little bit, they're gonna have some problems with it. Oh, ceramics? Oh, never mind. Ceramics are getting destroyed. Yeah, the ceramics are getting absolutely annihilated. Very cool. Okay, so what if we move I guess we're gonna need one more, right? Because eventually we're gonna wanna get all of them. And I want them all to be in the range of this village. All right, so we have the bottom path, so we need to make this one be the middle path, so wider lens. Oh yeah, so now two of the lasers are directly on top of each other, which is pretty cool. This is the 90,000 watt generator. The balloon state device uses the power of 90,000 watts to knock back balloons for a short distance. Nice, and then, oh, look at the, it turned yellow. Whoa, okay. And wait, oh, the last one's only $12,000? Wait, what? Look at this. So, ancient alien tech. That's from the aliens that left it. Okay, balloon stay device uses the tech of ancient aliens. Aliens to knock back blimps. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, oh, look at this. It turned Scion. Whoa. Okay, what do you think would be better? Probably the attack speed, right? Ooh, one pierce. Oh, I don't know. Getting the extra damage would be pretty cool, too. It's only a 10% faster attack speed. I'd rather it have two pierce and one damage. Because now if it's doing two damage, yeah, it does. it's way, 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 way better. All right, so next up, the Starlight Plasma Surge. What? Plasma refreshes pierce every second and has an increased lifespan. Whoa, look at the beam. It's turned dark blue. Look at, and now there's just a puddle of plasma. No balloons are going to get past any of that. That ain't happening. The last T5 is the Nebulaic Plasma Synthesizer. What? Okay. Using the power of the Cosmos, the balloon state device synthesizes starlight to destroy the balloons. That's probably the coolest strand of words I've ever read. I'm in. All right. Well, we can go ahead and get this one. So the stable Bluntonium reactor. So we're actually using nuclear fission to split Bluntonium atoms and creating an even stronger laser. You can't see it here. I'm gonna have this one be on follow my mouse. So that's way, oh, look at this BFB. Just melting it. Literally just melting it. I love that it just follows your mouse too. It's kind of like upgrading your cursor, right? It's kind of like that. It's similar to, it kind of feels like a helicopter, but it's also not. Right, because the, the helicopter automatically attacks. So the last one, the unstable balloon tone. Oh my gosh, round 63. So the pierce is a little bit of a problem. But also, not really, because as soon as it gets to the starlight plasma surge, there is no problem. I definitely want to go ahead and just get the net. The, we'll get this one first. And then we'll get the final one, the unstable balloon tonium. Use the power of nuclear fission. Ooh. Giving the laser infinite pierce and even more MOAB damage. I kind of like the infinite pierce thing. That's going to be really nice. And I want to get... Now we're almost there. For 54,000, we can get the, the Nebulae Star, for, Star Surge. Blah, 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 blah. Or do we just get some... I mean, we're making plenty of money right now. Let's just get this thing. What? What is this? Wait, 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 wait. Follow mouse. Whoa! You can draw with it. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Whoa. 
I'm drawing the infinity symbol. Whoa, look. Okay, how cool is that? It's literally the infinity symbol. Oh, wait, you can actually draw the infinity symbol right here. And it actually works pretty well. Just because of the map shoots, it's actually an infinity symbol. Patrol points. All right, yeah, we're, we can just put the patrol points like here. Oh, man, look at that. It literally just goes back and forth. So I'm assuming this one, the smart tracking one, is the one that's pretty much... Actually, the ancient alien text had the most. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. The ancient alien text is the strongest. And this one's also good. This one, the nebula, the bottom one has got like zero pops. But I guess balloons never even get there. So it doesn't even really matter, right? All right. Let's see what we got versus the, the ZOMG. Here it is. Oh, look at how much it actually pushes it back. Look, the ZOMG is like, whoa. And then just demolished. Nice. We're not, we're not done with this, though. I want to... I'm... We haven't even gotten the, the final of the T5. This T4 is what's actually doing the most amount of damage right now, which is really cool. And really nice to know that the one that has the most damage is actually only the T4 right now. So that means we've got quite a lot to go. Because once we upgrade it, which is still $100,000, which is crazy expensive. Do you want to see this turn into a Paragon? I know you do. I know you want to see a Paragon. I want to see this as a Paragon. If you guys hit the like button and this video gets enough love, we might turn this into a Paragon and revisit this mod because, man, I love alien technology, super space, giant mega beam from intergalactic space mod. Okay, I'm in. All right, I'm in. We're so close to getting enough money. We're so close. The unstable plutonium reactor. Let's go. Oh, it's red. Ready? ZOMG. Boom. Destroys it. Absolutely annihilates it. And wait, we have jungle drums. All right, what other buffs can we put on this thing? Obviously, we need to get ourselves an alchemist because our alchemists are very cool. I want to see if we can keep adding buffs to this thing. This thing even good. I guess the nebula, nothing really even gets down to... Look at this. The DDGs are gone. I want to see something go up against this nebula. The nebula seems too good. All right, I want to... Here, I'm going to keep my laser over here. I'm not going to use my laser until it gets to the middle. Let's see what happens here versus the DDTs. Oh, my goodness. Wait. What is doing... Oh, that thing is... Wait. The... I'm not even using the strong beam. Look, this is this is the OP beam. Look at this. I'm not even... I'm not even using the good one. All right, I'm going to use the good one now. Ready? On normal speed... Oh my gosh, that's so much fun! Oh my goodness. I could just sit here and do this all day. It's so satisfying just moving your mouse over balloons and obliterating them. Obliterating them with a giant laser beam from the from a different dimension. That's just I didn't know that's what I was gonna do when I woke up today, but I'm so glad that I am. Let's see how we do against the BAD. Go! My friends, that was that was epic. That was that's all we can say is that it was epic. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun with this. If you enjoyed this, you know what? You know, I, I say it all the time. I say it all the time. And like the video if you really enjoyed it. If you want to help support us, create a code 2D. You guys know, you know the drill. You know the drill. And subscribe if you're new. We upload videos every single day, unless we don't, but most of the time we do.